from deep in the heart of the San Fernando Valley, it's Hanging with Dr. Z, with Rusty Steel and the Steel Wheels. Tonight, Funny Man Hank Azaria. This monkey means business. The doctor will see you now. All right, all right, all right. I've got a gun. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you for coming down. Thank you for coming down to the show. Rusty Steel and the Steel Wheels are here tonight. How are you doing, Rusty? I'm doing pretty good, Dr. Z. Thank you. When I was thinking of you the other day, I was at, I was at Petco. Oh, I love Petco. You have a cat, right? I have 40. Four? 40. No. 40? Sorry, 39. Snake? Yeah. Do you not want to talk about it? I'd rather not. That's cool. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm sad I had to watch it happen. Was it a boa? It was a garter snake. Really? And it killed a cat? Well, no, I killed the cat. Okay. And fed it to the garter snake? Yeah. Was this a religious ceremony or? It's a dare. A dare. So we have a cat. We have a cat named George. And George is acting peculiar, which is unusual for a cat. How do you know when a cat acts peculiar? They're born peculiar. But George was acting a little hinky, so we took him to the vet. And the vet says, George has crystals in his urine. Give him these pills. And he gives us these pills. And I say, will these pills dissolve the crystals? And they say, no, no, no. But it will relax his urethra so it won't be so painful when he urinates. Who is the nameless wizard that stared down the barrel of the great too tight cat pee hole scourge? <laughs> what, where is this man? What was that moment of, of invention? Honey, is it just me? Or does the cat's dick sound like a kazoo when he pisses? <laughs> we have a very special guest tonight. He's not only a very famous voice actor, he's also a very famous body actor and face actor. You've enjoyed him on such shows as The Simpsons, Brockmire, and The Simpsons. Please welcome Hank Azaria, Rusty Steel in the Steel Wheels. Play us out. You're in the doctor's office, and I'll see you now. Tonight's episode of Hanging with Dr. Z is brought to you by Kink's brand Lola Bars. The mixed up, muddled up, shook up taste sensation from the flavor labs at Fuxley. You won't find them down in old Soho, but they are in your freezer section. Lola Bars. Moms love them. Dads love them. And moms who are dads love them. Rusty Steel and the Steel Wheels, ladies and gentlemen. Our first guest tonight, you know, let me tell you something. L like anyone, there are times when I lose my patience with the cat upstairs, <laughs> the main cat. You watch the news and you see people starving. You see wars that don't need to be fought. And I want to go, hey, what gives? And then I have to check myself and remember, he also gave us our next guest. Please welcome America's best friend. You'd let him date your daughter if she wasn't so young. Please welcome Hank Azaria, ladies and gentlemen. How are you, my old buddy? I'm very good, Doctor. You're a sight for sore eyes in these troubled times. It's, it, it is truly lovely to see you again. Thank you. And and you, my, you're the meat. You know what you are? You're the you're the meat. You're the meat in my hobo stew. Wow. You know, and I'm also, I got a lot of glazing on my, on my you coat, have a lot, too. You have been glazed like a Winchell's donut. And that has a different meaning in prison. And that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about talent. And you've got it, dri you've got it oozing out of you. Uh, apparently, I'm the whole meal. Uh, let me ask you a question. You worked with Mike Nichols a couple of times. Uh, yeah. He, he directed uh, the Holy Grail that you were in. Yes. 
Working on Broadway, I got to be uh, good friends with a dear friend of yours, Rip Taylor. Oh, that guy. It's, yeah. it's, it's a bucket of confetti, but the confetti is sadness. That, that may be right. I think he may be no longer with us. He's making that cat laugh now. He's dousing yeah. that guy in confetti. I, you know, that remind, I have questions I've always wanted to ask you. I Go mean, right ahead. I can't remember whether that night that we got in so much trouble, were you with, was that, were you with Mitzi Gaynor or Joey Heatherton that night? Oh, I wish I was with Mitzi. I was with, I was with Joey Heatherton. You were with Joey. The, yeah. Yeah. Or as I, or as I say, Satan, Satan wears a bouffant, as I recall <laughs> Joey Heatherton. The devil, the devil walks the earth and it's Joey Heatherton with two wine coolers in her. I, well, I remember we all thought we couldn't believe you had, you know, you, you had closed that deal and then it turned into such a nightmare for you. No insult, not, not to insult you, no, but no, it no. Just, it was all surprised that you bagged Joey Heatherton. Here's the thing with Joey Heatherton. It's like opening up the Ark of the Covenant without the right incantation. It's so appealing. And then the next thing you know, your face is melted and you're at a laundromat in 29 Palms wearing Randy Quaid's sweatpants and you don't know what happened in the past four days. Which is what literally happened that night. Here is my question. You're leading up to a question with this. Amazing, yes? Hank Azaria, human, yes. human male, <laughs> biggest show business encounter outside of the business. Now, it's not like you're at Caesars and you bump into Helen Reddy coming out of the toilet. I'm like, <laughs> big celebrity in a hardware store, like where, where they're not supposed to be. Right, right, right. Um, I was at... Uh... I believe the supermarket in Los Angeles run almost a Back smack when you did, you did your own shopping back then. <laughs> did my own shopping and uh, ran right into uh, Henry Winkler, who apparently also does his own shopping. The, amazing. And he, by that time, he was the Fonz. He, well, he, that was even over by then. Right. That so, But well I mean, over. like, he was that celeb, you know, that was famous. I, he, oh, yes, he was a big star. And I, I think I had the Fonz in my head because I spontaneously saw him and went exactly like this. I went, hey, it's a pleasure, like that. I went, hey, like the Fonz and dovetailed into it's a pleasure. And he was, I'm sure he was a delight. He was very kind, actually. He's a very nice man. And it's one patient. of those, it's one of those things you couldn't do that show today. You couldn't have a grown man hanging out with a bunch of teenage boys and frequently asking them to meet him in the bathroom. You couldn't, you couldn't, today that wouldn't, that wouldn't sail. No, it wouldn't. It's so much, so much of, of, uh, of uh, what you've said here during this interview and, and, and an idea like that wouldn't, wouldn't sail today. Hogan's Heroes. Wouldn't work. I'm 51% sure you couldn't do it these days. You're probably right. Also, speaking of your friend Mike Nichols, the, and this, yes. is the, this is the one that is, when you look at it, and there are movies, I'm going to ask you for one that people don't know about. Here's the one that drives me nuts. The Graduate. Yeah. If you were doing the TV guide blurb of The Graduate, it would yeah. be, a stalker destroys a family. Yeah, that's accurate. It is, it, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you another question I always want to ask you? What are you a doctor of? It's like this. I'm a doctor of show business. If I'm walking down the street and I see a man drop dead of a, see a man fall down of a heart attack and a crowd leaps around him, I will say, make room, I'm a doctor. And then I'll go into this, to the man, be in the center of the attention, and then I'll do a number from Scudder Who, Scudder Hey. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna perform a medical act, but I will show my expertise in my field. And maybe that'll revive him. I mean, it couldn't hurt at that point. Or what a way to go out. Exactly. Where is Hank Cesaria going to peek out of our TV screens next? Uh, well, in Brockmire, you can see it on Hulu. You know, all four seasons. Right. And uh, The Simpsons, you know, uh, uh, goes on. And uh, I have, a, I'm doing a little, a series of, po you know, I love poker, love playing poker. You, you do nice love, you poker. yes. Many yeah. a night I have sat in your house, staring at my pants on the table, wishing for a better hand. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes even we also played poker. You, can I get a rim <laughs> shot on that? This guy. But anyway. This yeah, guy. Yeah. I went, they I don't took give a Academy way. Awards for conversations, but if they did, you just saw a man win one. Tomorrow night, 
Lady Bird Johnson, and Music Man Ozzy Osbourne. 